Hey guys, I'm going to show how I gear my baby civilization. I'm missing one piece of gear. I'll tell you what to put into that place, but I didn't feel like sitting here for another week looking for it. I thought I'd get the video out to the people that wanted to see it sooner than later. A lot of things are the same as they are in the other civilizations, so you're going to see a lot of things the same. But for the villagers, I use the Hammer of Keveth. I use the Wood Chitin. And then the mead so they train faster. When it comes to fishing ships, pretty much anything with a high gathering speed. This isn't the best, but it, it's good enough for me. I'd rather have Hades arrows here, but for now, Athena's will do the job. Of course, a haul for speed. And then you really want the hull of dolphin on all your fishing ships because they're not meant to have high health or high damage even that they you want them cheaper. Your caravans, we're going to go for speed on your caravans and then going with the theme speed across the board. Transport our speed also. Of course here you'd want Hades arrows plus a speed haul and epic sails. You could get legendary but I'd find it a little overkill. Now when it comes to your ox cart, there's a tunic out there that Max has that makes them train faster, but I decided to go with a little speed on there and a little health just in case they get attacked, and then of course mead for training time. Your spearman, I decided to go with critical hit, part of me is hoping someday they'll improve that again, but if you do not want to go for critical hit, you could go to Cyprus and get added health. And of course, cavalry armor. And because it's a spearman, like all my other spearmen, I do training time so you can make them as quickly as possible. My royal guard, you'll notice, is pretty much identical. Pretty darn close to identical as my long swordsman with the swords and means. The Rostam shield. But the only difference is, is that I, instead of cavalry armor, I decided to boost up my infantry armor just a little more. And then the 36 gauntlet. My bowmen, which the bowmen on the civilization are very low DPS, so I decided to go um, a little stronger this time instead of range. I got a legendary bow with range arrows, a DPS tunic, and I decided to make them cheaper than what they already are, so I used one of the older negative 17.6 percent. Scouts, you'll probably notice are all the same on all my civilizations. The levels are of course are going to be a little different, but that's just to get you line of sight. Lancers are a very fun unit. Again, you could also go for more health, which Maybe for the Lancer would probably be a little bit better off. But I decided to go DPS with my Lancer. As you see, I have Athena's Golden Gorget. Gives me another 12%. And the Lancers are quick. So I decided to make them a little faster with 9.1 speed. It's the boots with a little extra boost to it now. Now that you get these new weird odd drops. And the Pals... I decided to go with Siege Arm, Legend, plus a little range, and DPS. And you also notice over here I have a throwing arm of Titans for the times that I do need a little extra range. It's not scrolling. There we go. And the Priests, I didn't know how to gear them out, so I had a Legend Oracle. I, I prefer on the staff that gives you speed because then it would add to this speed and then to this speed and then you can run around the battlefield like a little rabbit. Going to your town centers remember I like my town centers to be buff and take abuse but you can also put gear on your town centers to make them cheaper in cost. The reason why I make them stronger is because I play skirmishes one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two 
um, on unstoppable and I want to make sure my town centers have enough uh, health to stop whatever's coming at them and then of course the Ares training manual so villagers are trained as fast as possible these walls used to be 3.5 percent but still I have not found anything to replace them I am keeping my eyes peeled when I find something I will be sure to let everybody in the community know what's a better wall to put here but 1.3 percent is better than 0 percent I say and then of course uh, 7.1 training manual in our watch post we typical hand carved wall braces with legend lookouts houses like all my civilizations besides Celtic, Celtic, excuse me, um, I put walls of earth and strength to build faster, and then blueprints to build, to make them build even quicker. If you want them cheaper, you can go the other way and get um, iron wall joints here, but I find building them as fast as possible to be a little best. And cheaper, and 7.1 again, farms you go cost because we don't like paying full price for farms iron wall joints on them also and we go cheaper walls uh, 7.1 of course ideal Aries is on all these but they're expensive guard towers are exactly the same as in the other maps and I just have not placed the new bow on there yet, so I'll do that now. I was gearing up. So there we go. Little hesitation there on my part. There we go. All right, my guard towers, as I was saying, is the same in every civilization. I go for Theseus, so I have more infantry bonus damage. I go for Athena's, or I go for the arrows that give infantry bonus damage but they're really overly priced I only have one set on my Greek all walls of titans to make my towers even stronger and I use wall joints of Keveth just like on my other civilizations so I can get them cheaper especially now that the price of the towers are back to 100 to 150 this is extremely helpful in some maps. I'm very glad that I decided to stay with this and not switch to um, blueprints when they lowered the price now that they re-raised the price. And then of course cheaper walls and 7.1. And that's pretty much what I do on a lot of these buildings as a lot of people do. Now you go two ways with this. You can go you know, a cheaper walls or building faster walls like I have on the houses you can have this or you can have wall joints to make them cheaper or you can have blueprints to make them build faster but I found that this building is pretty cheap as it is builds pretty quickly to age two and there's a lot of researching going on and if I ever get an, another Ares to free up I'm going to put it here so because you age from this building also so I thought I thought a manual would work best and then 7.1 and cheaper again and then the forts are exactly identical as all my other forts besides Egyptian that I put a manual on because they train elephants you have Theseus again you have Athena's Titan and then I put blueprints on at least the legends doesn't matter any any uh, build time level if as long as it's a legend to get that fort up fast as possible wonder really doesn't matter to me know why I only have a 35 on there I don't do wonder races slingers um, I just put a DPS sling on there most health and threw some extra boots on there um, it's a unit that's very rarely used doesn't really matter what your force slot is on a slinger 
Chariot archers are your best unit in the game for your civilization. You want to pimp them out on range. And then try to get the best DPS tunic there is. I don't have the best one. And then please get an Argo helmet. You will never see your max range. Um, the only reason why this is the best unit. I don't know if you've seen any other videos, but this unit can take two hits or more, two or three hits from units, doesn't die in one hit, very quick, has great range, and pretty good DPS. So that's your best unit. Um, I would try to gear it somewhat the same. If you want your unit to have more hit points, feel free. But with this gear that you're seeing right here, it already can take a, a Legend Ballista hit at least once, and then the next hit it will die. So you already have a good amount of hit points. Your Sappers, uh, Leg Legend Ramhead, I know there's the other one out there, but I, if I have a weapon, I'm going to want it to do as much damage as possible to the building. Um, I, I debated on what kind of breastplate to use, to use this one or to use the other one that has no health, and I decided um, this unit needed some health instead of that, and this is the only slot that I have empty, which I would put a level 32 and up gauntlet in there. If you want to put in boots, I guess that could work too, make them quicker. Um, they're already really cheap, you don't want to put in the cheaper gauntlets, this unit's dirt cheap anyway, that would just be a waste. Um, line of sight's not needed, that would be a waste also. So the only thing that I could see putting in here is a boot or a gauntlet. Your siege towers, again same ram head, give it some range. And then I decided to give this thing some speed make it a little faster to get to the target quicker. Your war chariots, I put the legend javelin on. You could get um, the archer's bane or Athena's javelin. Um, if you want more range, this unit doesn't have the greatest range anyway, so even with those javelins, they're still going to have to get pretty close and probably have to take a hit before you can get your javelins off so I decided if I'm going to take a hit I might as well do as much damage to the enemy as possible and then of course pierce armor and I decided to make my cavalry on this civilization quick greaves do not work for this civilization the, their speed is too low already putting greaves on will make all your uh, horses pretty much crawl. Your horse archer, infantry bonus, give them range, piercing armor. These are greaves, but they still have 8.8 .8 speed. They come out of the skirmish. Um, your breams, I don't do much with this ship, so I put just the DPS bow on there, give it some range a little more range, and then a hollow levathon to give it some more health and damage. Ram ships, just like uh, Persia ram ships, three ram heads in this civilization, which is just odd to me, but and then you want crush armor for catapult ships not to hurt you, and then you want to make them fast because you got to be up close and personal. Now if you want to make them really fast, you can put Argo on there, but 1.4 is not going to be a huge difference. I find the 16% crush armor to be more beneficial. Now, the shield barrier is so unknown to me. I've been told to put gear on this unit that helps with armor, you know, more armor type gear, not hit point type gear. But I don't use this unit often. I know its pros and cons. It's not like Spire, which can take a lot of abuse. This unit can take a lot of abuse from 
Pierce armor only. This unit will get killed by a melee or spear type unit, like in a horse, and it's just so I decided just to go add a bunch of hit points to this unit and then put greaves on him make him as much hit points as possible I don't know if this is the right type of vest you might be better off finding a vest with uh, piercing armor I mean there's many of them out there I had this one laying around and because I don't use this unit much I threw it on there it does this unit can take some abuse from infantry, but not much. I, this this vest was probably the wrong vest to put on there. Looking back in hindsight, hindsight's only 2020, so this is probably the wrong thing to put on there. But to each their own. All right, your guns you just want to make cheaper. They already cost a good amount, and you gotta build so many of them. But that's how I gear this civilization. My gear score is 779. You've noticed pretty much out of all my civilizations, that's where they pretty much land, and I'm missing one piece of gear so far. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, the only piece of gear that I have seen that I probably would not recommend would be the Vesta Theseus. Let me check one thing before I make that perfectly clear. Um, yeah, see, they have no melee armor showed, so that 33%, I don't know how good that's going to be. I guess I'd have to test that out. But to anybody watching this video, if you're going to get a vest, and if you want to get something, get something with pierce armor. You might as well make them even stronger that way. Um, because it's not showing melee armor and 33% of nothing is 33% of nothing which is zero so that I might have screwed up on I don't know until I actually use the unit and look I guess I could tell you guys is go play with the unit and um, do all of its upgrades and tell, figure out what the uh, melee infantry armor is and if it's really low don't get it if it's like point twenty, then 33 percent might be okay but if it's like at point five or something or not even there don't get that get a tunic that has pure health or piercing armor and let's take that piercing armor from point seven to one point zero because you have this it's going to add fifty percent so that's how I get my civilization. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.